thought we'd try something a little different. And this is a technique that I use a lot. If you look at that background, you can see lots of different colors and lots of different textures. And I actually glued this background onto, this is a five by seven inch board, this and a paper doily. And I've had this one for quite a while and it's well used. We're going to use today these three DecoArt Premium Paints. We're also going to add just a little bit of extender to them. I'm going to do this on my 5 by 7 inch gel plate. We're going to use some deli paper to print it on because I need to have this be somewhat semi-translucent. Yeah. And I'm going to use my little 2 inch brayer because I want to keep the paint colors separate. I'm going to add a little bit of cobalt turquoise not much, I just want a little bit. And I want some green gold. And I'm going to add just a bit of extender to each one of these. I'm going to use my finger. It says usually one to four, so I'm guesstimating a little bit here. I'm going to use my plastic palette knife to mix in that extender. And notice I got a little bit of turquoise in my green gold, and I'm not concerned about that either and a little bit of phthalo blue. Keep, I'm not going to keep them separate because that's absolutely impossible unless I made a conscious effort to do that, but I kind of want to just keep my colors kind of not perfectly mixed. Let's grab our paper doily and I'm just going to lay it down over the top and you can see I have a spot that ripped. I'm not going to worry about that but I'm going to run my brayer right over the top of my gel plate and that will actually as you can see from the pattern that is on my clean off sheet it actually removes some of the paint. So now as I pull this off, I'm going to grab some deli paper. I generally print on the rough side. You can actually print on either side. And I'm going to lay this down right over the top of it. Now, I am not going to let this sit and dry. I'm going to pull it, and there you can see that there is the pattern which shows up from that doily. Now, I recently saw Patricia from P&M Artist Studio. She recently did this really cool technique. I've done a watercolor, but I, and I've done it with acrylics, but never on the gel plate. So I'm going to take a piece of deli paper and I'm just going to squish it up into a ball. Just wad it up. And maybe one more time. And the reason I'm showing you these two techniques together is because I think they're very similar. So let's see. Let's take a look at this. So let's use a look, the same paint colors we just used. I'm not going to add extender this time just to see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to start. Okay, let's wad this up one more time. This is called a batik. And I'm going to keep it wadded up a little bit because I want to, I want all that texture that I just developed. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Now we've got all this texture on here. Let's take another piece of deli paper. Let's see if we can pull that off of there without losing that texture. I 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll be back and we'll compare these in just a minute. And there's still more texture on my plate. And I think I'm going to let that dry. All right, so my paint on my gel plate is dry. So let's give it another second. And while we wait for it, let's just kind of compare these. Here's the one where I used the paper doily. And once, and I'm going to use this back in here, once I put this down on this 5 by 7 inch board, I think you can see how that yellow just brightens that up and makes that show. What a beautiful background this is. In fact, I used this background on a Halloween project that I recently did, and you can look on my website to see it. But I thought, hmm. What about this batik technique that Patricia talked about on one of her lives? And I thought, I wonder how that would work. And look at how cool that is. And then here's the result of what we did on that board. And look at what happens. I hope you can see that on, through the camera. Look at what happens and how that brightens up on that yellow. I have used this technique many, many times and love it, but if you don't have a doily, how perfect is this? Let's take this. This is a Traditions True Gold, it's called, and this is another deco art product. But let's put some gold out here. And I think I'm just going to use the other side of this piece of deli paper. So let's lay it down over the top. All right. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Let's let that sit. I'm not going to pull that until it's completely dry. I think we can pull this up. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, look at how bright gold that is. All right, these are some of the prints. that I did earlier. These I did on the white paper, these two. And then these are all done on deli paper. This one, I don't think I could <laughs> repeat that. I love these. They are just spectacular. I love this one too with that batik. This was one that I did that I showed you the different version of it with the doily, the paper doily. And then here's another one of those crackle ones. I'm not crazy about this big blue blob here, but I think I could cover that up pretty easily with something. So I thought maybe we should do something with some of these. This is another PM Artist Studio set of stencils, and I've used these before in another video. But I, I want, I used them as stencils before, and I want to use them, actually, I want to gel print with them. And this is called the Sea of Crescents. And you get two stencils, or two masks, whatever you want to call them. And then this is called a tidbit. But I think this, especially on this one, I think this could be super cool. I'm going to use phthalo blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of extender because I want a little bit longer working time to get That's going to look great there. I'll pull it when it is completely dry. So I was thinking some botanicals might be nice on here. And these are just some dried flowers that I dried after a trip up into the mountains. But I thought they might look nice here. And I think that would work. I'm going to use Thalo Blue with a little bit of extender.
do a botanic, botanical. I like to rub my fingers down next to the stem and in the little, little, little cracks and crevices to try and get Oh yeah, that pulled up great. And there we have a beautiful print. Till next time.